Hi everyone, I'm Jules. The question was about articulation delay or disorders or speech sound delay or disorders in children. So basically what happens is when children learn to talk, they do so at different levels and stages. So they'll have some sounds to begin with and then they'll get to those harder sounds. And if they haven't got to some of those sounds by certain ages, that's considered like a language delay or disorder and usually requires speech therapy to help the child. It helps them communicate clearer, learn those sounds, and it also helps with their reading and writing skills. So as we know, children develop like the front sounds like p, b, m, d, m, h, t, around two to three, and then those back sounds at about three, three and a half. So that's probably one of the most common sound or phonological delays that we see, which is where the sounds at the front of the mouth are still happening and the sounds at the back of the mouth haven't come yet. So for example, instead of ready, steady, go, we're gonna hear the child say ready, steady, do. So they're still saying the dut sound instead of the gut sound at the back. And it's the same for like cut sounds. So instead of key, we're gonna hear D. So like I have a ta T instead of a car key. The funny thing is, is that a lot of parents already decode their child's speech sound errors and even their teachers. So they might say, you know, my dog bindo is in the garden instead of my dog bingo is in the garden. They already like translate that. So the trick or the measure is, is that it's an unfamiliar adult um, needs to be able to kind of understand your child or, or a child. So because we can't always decode those errors or when haven't been around the child as much. So basically the really common speech sound errors are those cut and gut ones or um, what, something called stopping. So if a child is saying instead of fish, they'll say bish. And instead of, oh, what's another one? Um, say, they'll say tay. So it's where they haven't got the airflow going through in their mouth. And again, it kind of translates to a lot of different sounds and it obviously makes them harder to understand and then they can get frustrated because they're not able to get their message across. So it's nothing too overwhelming or scary, speech sound therapy for articulation, all those processes are done in play-based games. Um, something called minimal pairs is a great one that is research-based. Children don't necessarily know that they're learning or doing homework. It's lots of sound play, lots of practicing the sounds like cut, 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 and looking at a picture of T, looking at a picture of key, and seeing that they're different. This also is pre-literacy training or skills. So it also helps when children start to learn their sounds and reading and writing skills. So basically, the most common ones are children finding it hard to do k and g, s, f, and the er or the ul sound. The very last sound to come is the th. So instead of birthday, children will say birthday. Instead of thumb, they'll say thumb. And that's the pretty much the last sound, which can come at about six years of age or even a bit later. And even the same with the er. So if they're saying um, red, but they're saying it like wed. That is another typical speech sound error or phonological process that typically subsides at around five years of age, but we certainly see a lot of children who need some support in that area. So I hope that answered your question. If you have any more questions about speech sounds or any general questions, I'm happy to give a go answering them. Of course, this is just general advice and nothing specific.